On October 3rd, 1993, about 100 elite US soldiers were dropped by helicopter into a teeming marketplace in the center of Mogadishu, Somalia. Their mission? Seize two top lieutenants of a Somali warlord and return to base. They had left behind canteens, bayonets, night vision goggles, anything they felt would be dead weight on a snatch and grab mission in broad daylight. Some even went so far as to remove the protective uh, Kevlar plates from their body armor and stuffed every available pocket and pouch with ammunition. The whole operation was supposed to take an hour. Instead, they found themselves pinned down through a long and terrible night, fighting against hundreds of heavily armed Somalis. The following morning, 18 Americans were dead, and more than 70 had been badly wounded. What was their biggest mistake? Not expecting the worst and preparing themselves accordingly. And that's precisely the main spiritual lesson in the parable of the ten virgins recounted in today's Gospel. Dear brothers and sisters, salve Maria. Today's parable is about ten virgins, part of a bridal party, awaiting the bridegroom's arrival so they could escort him to the house where the wedding banquet was to be held. The bridegroom represents Christ and the virgins, mankind. The bridegroom's arrival marks the moment of death, when God calls each soul to himself. Following God's judgment, some souls enter eternal bliss in the company of Christ, the bridegroom, while others are excluded from the wedding feast forever. In the parable, the ten virgins were tasked with lighting the way using oil lamps. Five of them took their assignments seriously, taking extra flasks of oil with their lamps, while the other five were careless and didn't bring any extra oil with them. They were probably so caught up with other matters that they neglected their primary responsibility of welcoming the bridegroom. And that's the first spiritual lesson here. Everything we do in this life has to be aimed towards our ultimate end, namely to know, love, and serve God, and by this means to save our souls, as St. Ignatius of Loyola would say. Everything else we do or have is secondary to this and beneficial to us only in the measure they help us to keep our lamps burning with the oil of good works, especially works of charity. So how can we prepare ourselves for our encounter with the bridegroom? Expect the worst and prepare ourselves accordingly. What's the worst thing that could happen to someone? To die in a state of mortal sin. So the first step to avoid this is by frequent confession and striving to maintain ourselves always in this state of grace. And one way to help us with that is by meditating frequently on the closing words of today's Gospel. Stay awake. For you know neither the day nor the hour. And ask yourself this question. If Jesus came today, right now, would he find us ready waiting with burning lamps or caught off guard and empty-handed? For remember, it's not a question of if he will come, but when. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh wait, just one last thing. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm testing your vigilance. What's the worst thing that could happen? What well, we see at the end of today's parable. The foolish virgins who, having arrived late to the wedding feast, 
find the door locked. And from within hear a voice saying, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. That's why, in addition to all we mentioned previously, we need to foster a salutary devotion to Our Lady in this life. Because even if the door has been bolted from within, she'll always find a way in for us. St. Padre Pio loved to tell a story about our Lord who, one day while making his rounds around heaven, saw some unfamiliar faces. He called St. Peter over and asked, Who let these people in? St. Peter merely shrugged and said, There's nothing I can do, Lord. What do you mean there's nothing you can do? You're the one with the key. There's nothing I can do. And, and frankly, Lord, there's nothing you can do either. What do you mean? It's your mother. She has a spare key, and she's the one who's letting them all in. God bless. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.